Shift in a turbo. Red Lightning Turbo Power. Hey guys, today I'd like to talk about traffic safety. No, I'm just kidding. From Shout Factory, we've got Car Ranger on DVD now from Super Sentai. And of course, Power Rangers Turbo is available as a single volume and part of the box set, seasons four through seven. And it's also on this big giant legacy collection set. And of course, Turbo is on Netflix, but no, things don't stay on Netflix forever. This is one of those earlier seasons that I never got to see in full. 48 episodes across eight discs. Pictures in the back. The front tells you which episodes are on each disc. It is subbed in English. Pretty sure in Japan, the Blue Centurion actually had a wife and a kid. <laughs> DVDs keep coming. Mega Ranger is next. Legally owned, full Super Sentai seasons on DVD, subbed in English, yours forever. Yes! I got mine on Amazon, also available on Shout's website. And you can also get them at some stores. I was finally able to get a set of these on eBay. Gotta put stickers on. Each Ranger has an action feature. Here's the sword, which is painted. Turbo Navigator, Auto Blaster. Hey, look at that, they connect. There we go. Hey, love this set. Really makes me look forward to legacy figures of Turbo. Takes a kicker. Ah! Oh no. And so is blue. So it sounds like Car Ranger kind of saved Super Sentai in Japan, and Power Rangers Turbo almost kind of doomed Power Rangers in the US. It's kind of funny how that works sometimes. But thankfully, in space was really good. So it came back the following year as Lost Galaxy. So what happened with Power Rangers Turbo and what did you guys think of it? I really liked Zeo. I was so ready for a costume change at that point. I loved the Gold Ranger and his theme song. I loved the Zords. I loved the music. I, I really enjoyed Zeo. Now it's been a couple of years, but if I remember, I was in Florida and I was at a movie theater and I saw a poster kind of like this, like one of those big cardboard floor displays. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh no, what is that? Turbo, a Power Rangers movie? Is, is that gonna affect the show? Is that a kid as a as a Power Ranger? Are those cars, are, are the Zords gonna be cars? What, what's going on here? What about Zeo? Oh no! And then I remember going to Target and I saw like all these new Power Ranger toys and they were all turbo. I was like, what's going on here? Are they becoming cars? What about Pyramidus and the, the Super Zeo Zords and the Zeo Megazord, Red Battle Zord? What's going on? No! <laughs> Who doesn't love dinosaurs? And then season two, we had that awesome red dragon and all the zords were really cool. Season three were animals and I was like, oh, I kind of like the first two better. And then Zeo, I was like, all right, yeah, I love these again. These are really cool. Love the Zeo Ultra Zord. That thing was awesome. And now cars? When I first saw Turbo stuff, I don't think I had realized that Zeo was over. And then in the movie, it seems like the Zeo powers are all still well and good. And then all of a sudden Zordon has them create car powers. Like it wasn't even that great of a transition from Zeo to Turbo. But was Turbo actually a bad season? I'm not sure it was. But at the time, I could see how a lot of fans could have been kind of turned off by Turbo. First, Bulk and Skull became monkeys. Uh, the original cast minus Justin left. Zordon and Alpha left. And Zordon and Alpha's replacements were both kind of obvious. <laughs> Lousy Demetria trying to make you use your brain. Come on, Zordon, just, just tell me what to do and I'll go do it. But now, all these years later, looking back on Turbo, it really wasn't a bad season. It was just, at the time, like, what is going on here? But the new cast was actually pretty good. I think I actually enjoyed the second half of Turbo more than the first half. Although the first half had some really good episodes too. All right, I guess you guys will tell me, what did you think of Turbo? And have you seen it since 1997? I still think the movie was kind of weird, but the series itself I enjoyed. Also, I know people are gonna ask, here's Yellow Mighty Morphin. These are the eight inch figures from the US. You know, they're, they're roughly the same size. Ours are a little bit bigger. Here's Turbo. There's a little thing here that you wind. Ours had more paint than Japan and still had chrome on the helmet. I never got these, so this I was able to get used at Robo Toy Fest, and our helmet sculpts are actually better. Yeah, Japan's lips are kind of weird, but I don't think we got colored weapons, right? Their weapons were colored in Japan, I think ours were just gray. Speaking of Turbo, Jess got this for me, I think like at a con or something. I never had this. Turbo, I was kind of at that funny age where you're like not a kid and you're not an adult, you're like somewhere in the middle. Like you're kind of too old to get your parents to buy all the toys for you, but you're kind of too young to have your own car and money to go get them yourself. That's like when they charge you adult movie prices, but you can't see an adult movie without a parent or guardian, right? Like how mean is that? So here's our Tilatron five inch figure. This thing is actually really cool. Look at this. It rolls. There's more. There's a little thingy in the back. Eh? How about that? When it's like that, you can take the arms off. 
and you can put them back there. Fully painted, no details missing, and let me tell you, this is the life of your party. Oh. you don't have another party if you don't have one of these present. I mean, you could, it just won't be a very fun party. And thank you, Jess. <laughs> That's pretty impressive for just a five inch figure, right? That's awesome. Actually, maybe I'll show one more thing. You guys remember the turbo carts, right? Did you know in Japan these were powered? Ours came with a figure, Japan's did not. In ours you could push and it would roll, but it wasn't motorized. So here's Japan's. So look at that, it takes two AA batteries and you kind of have to build it. Nice chrome wheels, rubber tires. It's pretty fun, right? Yes, okay, these wheels are different sizes. So the smaller ones go in the front. All right, I got my batteries in. Whoa. Ah! So if it hits something, it'll turn itself off. Ah! It hit me! <laughs> Whoa, Boy, that thing really goes. I hope everyone continues to support the Super Sentai DVD releases. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. I will always be back soon with many good videos. And good night.